if you've ever wanted to learn how to slice, dice, mince, chiffonade, prifonade, delifonade, those are fake. Or any of the basic techniques of cooking, you're at the right place. Thank you for joining me, my little breakers and breakettes, for another episode. Today we're going to do mango dice. And as always, we're going to start out with a pinch grip and a light grip on that handle. Pinch grip your blade, light grip on the handle. With the non-knife hand, remember to curl your fingers, and we're going to walk them back if we need to. We're going to cut the two. Wow, that was a high pitch note. <laughs> we're going to cut the top and the bottom off to make a flat surface. This makes sure it doesn't wobble and slip and slide around because these bad boys are so lick. So, showing you just a quick uh, shot from the top. We're going to work it around the pit in the middle. It's quite a big pit, so much more of a feeling out motion. You're kind of circular half circle around that pit. Again, letting the knife do all the work. It feels its way around the pit. And now it gets a little more uh, wobbly here. As you see that shot, I stop because I get nervous with the uh, slickness of it. And here, it's just too wobbly, too too dangerous, too uh, just, you know, it's a very slimy, it's just the worst word I could choose, slimy fruit. But just use your knife tip to cut out that last part. So in this one, I went a little in reverse order. My apologies. So the first cut will be the more advanced one, but we'll go into simpler tactics. Tactics? Uh, what is this, war? Anyway, uh, with this one, I'm using a full chef knife, which is also, this is just years of, of doing this. Uh, you could use a paring knife for this. So as you see, the main goal is to just get that end of the tip to hit the skin and it'll slide right through especially if that mango was ripe it'll just slide right through and we're trying to do a grid or a tic-tac-toe board whichever is easier and that way the skin can then pull itself flat against the cutting board and we can slide our knife underneath and so now with our non knife ham we're gonna say that three times fast <laughs> so with our non knife ham we're gonna push it down flat and with our knife, we're not going to do that kind of pushing the, the knife through movement. We're going to go up and down in small movements, and the knife will do the work for us. As I flipped it over, I realized uh, I did not get all the way through the actual fruit itself, but that's okay. It's almost like a perforated, whew, big word, a perforated uh, a surface now. So you kind of just follow the lines that are already there. And so in restaurants, we would use this. I wouldn't even be using the cutting board. You'd just be doing it in the palm of your hand uh, to expedite getting uh, dice out of the mango to put on top of like a salad or something along the lines of that. But we're going to do a much simpler one here. So non-knife hand, uh, push it down flat. With the knife hand, we want to small movements up and down, have it slide through, not trying to push it through without any movement. And I went with the old uh, thumb and index finger over top for the long cut and then came back with just the fingers curled and walked backwards for the side cut for the dice. So here's the last shot with the simplest way I could show. We're going to pull that knife through the whole fruit and then with the non-knife hand push it flat. With the knife we're doing small up and down movements not pushing or pulling it through letting the knife do the work. Then go back and do your dice like you would do any other uh, fruit or vegetable. Uh, thank you for joining me again on another episode of Break It Down. This has been Mango Dice. I hope you have a good rest of your day, night, afternoon, or whatever time it is. Hope to see you again on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, it's more over here. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe.